So let's take up higher order derivatives today. For a higher order differentiation. Right. Let's say we have a function. Okay, and you need to find dy over dx. So this would be 3x squared plus 2x plus 0, since 1 is a constant. And then you have to differentiate this new function. Let's say it is some g. So dg by dx is simply the derivative of dy over dx with respect to x. Okay, I'll repeat. dg over dx is simply the derivative of dy over dx with respect to x. And this can also be written as d squared y over dx squared. And this is known as the second derivative or the second order derivative. Right? So this would be nothing but d over dx of g which is 3x squared plus 2x giving you 6x plus 2. Now you can go ahead and again differentiate this to get d3y over dx3 giving you a 6 and then finally d4y over dx4 would be 0 since 6 is a constant. Right? So that's what higher order derivatives are. Now another notation for representing this is y double dash. Okay? Or prime prime, double prime. Since dy over dx is also sometimes represented as y prime. Right. Let's take another example. Let's say we have sine x plus ln x. So dy over dx would be using the sum rule sine x cos x and the derivative of log is 1 over x okay which is y dash or y prime. y double prime would be the derivative of dy over dx or simply d square y over dx squared giving you negative sine x with 1 over x squared and you could go on differentiating it so that's higher order differentiation let's take another example now let's say we have e to x e to the x now y dash would be e to the power x y double dash would be again e to the power x and so on. So I can say that the nth derivative of e to the x would be e to the x. So y nth equals y, right? Similarly, for y equals, let's say, ax plus b, right? y dash would be a, let's take x to the n, so I get a n x to the n minus 1. y double dash would be a n n minus 1. x to the n minus 2. y triple dash would be a n n minus 1 n minus 2. x to the n minus 3. Right? And so on. So I can say that y p th would be simply a now this is basically going on from n n minus 1 to n minus p minus 1 okay let's take for example this third derivative so we have y3 and it's going on to n minus 2 so it's going on to n minus 3 minus 1 isn't it so this will go on to n minus p minus 1, that is n minus p plus 1, okay, and x to the n minus p. 
as you can see here we have 3 here so using the high order derivatives you can actually find out the nth order derivatives